With Hollywood cranking out blockbuster fare at a staggering rate, and art house cinema fully coming into its own, the 90s were an exciting mixed bag at the multiplex. This combination of high and low art carried over into video stores, too, inspiring movie buffs to scour shelves for both big-budget bonanzas and obscure festival hits. Sadly, those searches often proved fruitless, leaving some of the decade's best films largely unseen by the masses. Here are a few 90s gems that are absolutely worthy of your attention, if you can track them down, that is. Twin Peaks – Firewalk With Me No single show changed the landscape of television in the 90s more than David Lynch's supernatural murder mystery Twin Peaks. Even after a game-changing first season, the show was unceremoniously canceled in the midst of its wildly uneven second season. Once the show ended, fans were delighted to find out that Lynch still had Twin Peaks tales to tell. One of those tales, that of Laura Palmer's Last Week on Earth, got the big screen treatment in Twin Peaks Firewalk With Me. Free from the creative shackles of television, Lynch used the chance to craft his most complex, uncompromising film to date. Sadly, even the most devoted of Twin Peaks fanbase had trouble connecting with Firewalk With Me's artsy eccentricities. The film proved divisive amongst critics, all but ignored in its theatrical release and unfairly doomed to a sort of purgatory in the process. For all of its quirks, Firewalk With Me stands as a creative high point for Lynch, breathlessly combining his penchant for experimentation with his trademarked biting commentary on the American dream. Though the film has had its defenders over the years and has long held the title of cult classic, it still feels like not enough people have actually seen it. Chaplin Before Robert Downey Jr. put Marvel on the map with his now iconic turn in Iron Man, Richard Attenborough tapped him to star in his Charlie Chaplin biopic, appropriately titled Chaplin. Lucky for Attenborough and for film buffs everywhere, Downey Jr. turned in the finest performance of his young career, landing RDJ his first Oscar nomination. But Attenborough's film is more than just a showcase for Downey Jr.'s talent. Though it didn't fare well with critics, who lamented its 143-minute runtime and overall lack of ingenuity, Chaplin remains a lovingly crafted, in-depth look behind the curtain of one of cinema's greatest innovators. The film is likely to inspire viewers to go back and explore Chaplin's own mind-blowing body of work as well, not to mention the mostly terrific work Downey Jr. has delivered in the years since Chaplin's release. Red Rock West Things have certainly gotten away from Nicolas Cage over the past decade or so, but throughout the 90s he was still deemed an exciting, supremely talented actor, the sort who could handle big-budget fare but still wow in micro-budget indies. So it came as no surprise that he'd follow one of his biggest box office hits, Honeymoon in Vegas, by starring as a wayward drifter in John Dahl's Red Rock West. Don't worry if you've never heard of the brilliant neo-noir thriller. The film's been all but lost to history since its release, which is a shame because Dahl's nimble tale of small-town swindling and mistaken identity is just as slick today as it was back in 1996. It also happens to feature one of Cage's most understated and affecting performances. With any luck, the aging actor might one day remember that sometimes less actually is more, especially when bees are involved. Oh, no, not the bees! Not the beast! Ah! I love my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Dick. Back in 1999, a political satire titled Dick should have gotten a lot more attention than it did. Sadly, in the almost two decades since the comedy's release, the film still hasn't found its audience. With any luck, however, the current political climate might change that. After all, the girl power-centric story of political upheaval carries as much weight today as it might have in the year it was set. The fact that Dick also features winning performances from Kirsten Dunst, Michelle Williams, and Dan Hedaya as a brilliant Nixon caricature makes it even more worthy of notice. Full of insightful, stoner-styled comedy and featuring a terrific supporting cast of gifted comedians, Dick is a must-see that too many moviegoers missed the first time around. Ghost Dog – The Way of the Samurai Loosely adapted from Jean-Pierre Melville's new wave classic Le Samurai, 1999's Ghost Dog The Way of the Samurai sees notoriously experimental director Jim Jarmusch at his most accessible, whereas Le Samurai saw its titular silent assassin skulking around the back alleys of Paris, 
Forrest Whitaker's eponymous ghost dog calls the mean streets of Brooklyn home. Jarmusch bolstered the film's spiritual insights by frequently quoting samurai philosophy and backed his sword-swinging killer's gritty urban journey with a head-nodding original score from Wu-Tang Clan's RZA. Combining ancient warrior wisdom with a stylish hip-hop vibe, Jarmusch spins an engrossing and deeply satisfying story of modern-day honor amongst thieves that still resonates with film fanatics today. Stir of Echoes the ripple effect from The Sixth Sense's breakout success is still being felt in Hollywood today. In other words, it seems like every modern horror film comes prepackaged with its own flashy twist ending. Now, imagine that you released a haunting horror film rife with unsettling imagery and, yes, a shocking twist a mere month after The Sixth Sense changed the horror game. Even if your film was just as clever and scary as M. Night Shyamalan's masterpiece, it'd be virtually impossible to match those sixth sense-sized expectations. Such was the case with David Kep's Stir of Echoes. Following the trials and tribulations of a working-class dad who starts to experience terrifying visions after a hypnosis hiccup, Kep's film is often just as smart and creepy as The Sixth Sense. At times, Sir of Echoes even bests Shyamalan's flick on both fronts, but it also features a child who can speak to dead people. So, yeah, you can see the problem with it being released after Haley Joel Osment uttered those now iconic words. I see dead people. Still, Stir of Echoes is far from a cheap knockoff, and horror fans unfamiliar with the unsung flick owe it to themselves to give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.